All right, let's look at this. Denver, Colorado often experiences 45 snowstorms, resulting in multiple inches of accumulated snow. During the last snowstorm, the snow accumulated at an inch an hour. If the snow continues at this rate for 10 hours, how much snow will accumulate? All right, so what I'm going to do is, first off, I recognize that in Denver, Colorado, there's 45 snowstorms. The next sentence is key right here because it says during the last snowstorm, the snow accumulated an inch an hour. That means for every one inch, it happened, so make the ratio sign, during one hour. It doesn't tell you that explicitly one to one, but you have to understand. Inch doesn't say inches. So if it says inch, automatically one. Hour is one hour. If it said hours, it would be more than one. But looking at the word and what it's actually asking us is a very key component. Inch, one. Hour, one. If the snow continues at this rate for 10 hours, notice what is right there, the S, 10 hours, and it's explicitly telling you 10 hours, how much snow will accumulate. Well, if we know we have 10 hours, we need to figure out how many inches happen in 10 hours. Well, if it's one to one, it'd be 10 inches to 10 hours. So we get the given information. If we know that a snowstorm each day at lasts like 10 hours, and if it's 45 of them throughout the snow season, then you multiply 45 times 10. Zero times five is zero, zero times four is zero. Carry the zero over. One times five is five, one times four is four. Add it all together, zero, five, and four. So this answers the question, if the snow continues at this rate for 10 hours, how much snow will accumulate? 450 inches of snow Look, will accumulate. Always make sure you answer the question explicitly, especially use the words that the question's asking you. You don't have to worry about spelling it wrong. It's all right there. And that will always be the case in any question you take on Purdue paper or computer. All right, now let me go ahead and show that in a different way using a model. I'm going to start off with zeros. However, I'm going to work with 10 because I want to get to that 450, and I don't even know if I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to go to 10. I'm going to have to skip this part right here. Go to 100. You know what? And this is a genuine experience right here. Let's go ahead and actually go by 50s. Because if we know if it's 50 hours, then how many inches would it be? Hopefully you said 50 as a response. So I know that 50 hours in inches would be 50 inches, 100 inches, 150 inches, 200 inches, 250 inches, 300 inches, 350 inches, 400 inches, and 450 inches. And there's your model. 450 of inches of snow will accumulate. If you really want to be complete, in Denver, Colorado. Enjoy.